Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So today I do have a tiny little peachy cheap haul that we're going to take a look at. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day today and is enjoying their morning. Um, to be honest with you, early mornings are the best time of day for me. I just love them so much because either either people are sleeping or off to work and I just get that little bit of time before I go off to work because after work it's boom, all, all systems go, right? From the time you get off of work to the time you go to bed. So I just, I love the morning, love it. Um, so that's why I'm down here showing you this uh, recent order from PT Cheap that I got. So let's go ahead and get into it. I just opened it now. I almost forgot what it was, isn't that funny? Um, okay. So this is the um, like the truck card kit kind of thing, I'll call it. So it comes with, well, here, so let me show you. Here's the dies, um, the dies and the stamps, right? So I thought this was really cute and I don't have, like I love the, the truck thing, and, but I don't have um, a stamp or a die or that. So they had this on sale. I figured, let me get it. It was probably like 12 bucks because I don't even normally spend more than that on um, PG Cheap. Um, so you have your, your truck, you have your little, um, pieces to go along with it. Um, your little like, uh, ornamental pieces and then it has get well, birthday wishes, hugs and kisses. Um, I thought you could use a little pick me up. So it's, it's pretty versatile, right? And I have other stamps. I can do different things with the, with the sentiments. I'm not wor worried about that too much. And it does come with, it looks like it comes with a bunch of, a bundle of hearts and a bundle of flowers that you can stick in your back truck there. But then we can also get creative around Christmas time and Halloween and uh, fall, right? And put little fun stuff in the back of the truck. So that's really why I ordered this. Now it turned out to be a kit. So it comes with like these bubble pieces so you can make it a shaker, right? So that's cute too. Um, you get six shaker pieces in here and then you get, um, your cards. So let's take a look at these. And I'm thinking this isn't anything, well, I guess you could mail it off in the mail if you're doing like a package and you can add it to the package. But otherwise, I think these are going to have to be like given to um, people in person because, all right, so you have your card, right? And then you have your, your truck cut out. And then this little guy here is going to sneak inside of that, just like that. So you see how he sticks out? Can you tell that? Right. So he sticks out and then you put your little shaker bits in there. Boop, boop, boop. You'll stamp the car. Well, we can't see, but you'll stamp the car behind that. And then you can go ahead and just um, decorate, embellish the front of your card. So it is kind of cute, right? That part of it. So it'll just be a select six people that get that. <laughs> Um, but anyway, yes. So let's go ahead and just see how this stamps out. All right, guys. So let's do this real quick. Let's see what I brought out here. So I did bring out some red. This is the only um, red ink that I have. So this is uh, Stampin' Up! Poppy Parade. And I did want to stamp the truck in red for the first time, right? This is like red truck, red truck. Now, what we have to do and what I should be using is my... Um, my misty on this absolutely right because we know that I'm not going to get a perfect stamp on this first on this first go around so I'm just trying to ink it up really well all right and then we're just going to stamp it on can you guys see what I'm doing we're going to stamp it on this is the card stock that I use for my cards from um Amazon like a whole ream of this for like 10 bucks guys all right so we're going to do that See, not too bad, but I think if I had, if I had the, um, if I was using the Misty, it would definitely be a clearer, you know, more solid image. But for today and for now, just to test these out. And then I wanted to put some of these hearts in the back. So let's use this Seedless Preserves for that. All right, so we're going to stamp that up. This is just a test, guys, just a test. Okay, and then I do want to stamp that off a little bit just to see how it looks. Okay. And sometimes if you do that, it helps to ink up um, your stamps really well. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and just kind of layer this on the back of the truck, right? Because he's carrying the hearts. Okay, so look. We're carrying hearts in the back of our truck. Now, I think those would look really cute if we could glitter those up or something. 
Okay, but either way, we see how that we see how that works. And then what we can also do while we're here, let's do it while we're here, right? So let's do another truck. Okay, I'll just do another one real quick because I want to try the uh, flowers too that go in the back of the bed. All right, so let's put another truck down here. All right, that one actually stamped a little bit better, probably because I had already stamped it. And let's find our flowers. Okay, now here is our flowers. You know what I'm gonna do? Because I don't wanna, let me take this one off for a second. Put the flowers on here, because there is one other thing we have to stamp to get this truck down right. So let's just stamp off over here the flowers. Oh, those are really pretty, okay? And then we'll put those on the back of the truck. Okay, perfect. Let's cover these up. Cover, cover, cover. Now, guys, I guess it's just a matter of what colors we select at this point, right? But if you can see how pretty the flower is and how pretty the hearts are. And guys, I didn't say, this is a uh, jelly bean, jelly bean soup, this collection. Okay, stamps to, um, yep, everything. All right, so now the last piece is this fence, like gate, I guess we'll call it, to the truck. So we also want to stamp that. And I'm going to stamp that in black and see how that comes out. I'm getting this ink all over me. Let's move this over here, and then we'll go ahead and clean all this up because we do want to wipe our stamps down pretty quickly after we're done using them. All right, so let's go ahead and stamp this one. All right, and go over here. And this is just a basic black. It's kind of light, so that might be okay. But again, to get a darker, crisper color, we're definitely gonna wanna use our, um, our Misty or some sort of, I know Stampin' Up! makes uh, the Stamparatus, but we're gonna wanna use something similar to this to get our crispest, crispest, crisp, crispest, bestest picture. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take this, if you can see, and we're gonna put it right along there and see how it comes out. See how it looks. Maybe we don't even want this piece on here. I guess we're gonna go there, right? Right on top. Yeah, see, it's hard to tell. Can't really tell it's there. Um, probably has to be like a deeper, darker black, all right? Um, but overall, I am really excited about this set because I think we can use this um, in so many different types of card situations as the sentiments that are included, right? Uh, hugs and kisses, birthday wishes, get well surprised. Now, the last thing I want to do is just um, go ahead and die cut this out. All right, so I did cut them out. It comes with the dies for the truck, the hearts, the flowers that we stamped. Um, it also comes with one for the little gate piece. So, but if you want to use the die cut, guys, we have to cut out the truck first before we build it because it cuts off what we stamped. So if you just want to stamp and make a background picture, that's fine. But if you do want to die cut it, we're going to have to do each piece individually and then kind of piece them together, which is fine. No worries. So, all right, guys, that is the Jilly Bean Soup uh, truck card kit series that I got off of PT Cheap. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.